Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about Axe Dev Tools. So, what are Axe Dev Tools? So, Axe Dev Tools are a very powerful browser based accessibility testing tools uh, that is developed by the DQ system. It allows us to test our code and find out what are the is accessibility issues that it has. And it helps us comply with the WCAG. So we're going to take a demo of that and see how that works. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and install Axe Dev Tools. You can go to the website dq.com free trials and you can go ahead and uh, sign up for the free trial for the Axe Dev Tools uh, over here. As you can see, there are demos available. There are free tri trials available. So you can click on that and you can sign up and you can uh, go ahead and uh, get this Axe Dev Tools. Once you've done that, you can get the Chrome extension for this. So Axe Dev Tools Chrome extension. Okay, so this is the one. So this is the one. So I've already added that. So once you've added that, and then if you go to your website, in this case, this is my website. And then if you inspect element on the right hand side, uh, extreme right, you should see this extension in your Chrome developer tools. So as you can see that there are multiple options available here. Um, I'm currently already signed in. So once you have got it, um, then you can sign in. Sign in basically gives you more features, but if you don't want to take their package, then you can also have some free uh, features available. But uh, if you sign up with them, then you will get a lot more features. So it's up to you. You can try it out and then if you like it, you can sign up to uh, get the premium version as well. So as you can see, there are multiple options available. We have a full paid scan. We have a partial paid scan. Full paid scan basically um, scans the entire page and finds out what are the accessibility issues. A partial paid scan uh, in case if you want to just basically um, test a particular component. Let's say I want to go ahead and test only this button or this whole uh, section, then I can select that and only test that part. This is useful when you're building components. You can do component based testing so that it doesn't run on the entire page. Uh, then you have the user flow analysis here. Uh, you can basically test any of the functionalities, uh, accessibility, for example, if there's a book in process or check in process uh, on an e-commerce website, uh, you can click on the scan user flow and then as the user progresses through the journey you can uh, it actually captures if there are any issues then you have table keyboard modal dialog interactive element structure image and forms these are the guided tests so what um, axe dev tools does is basically it uses ai to find out uh, if there are any accessibility related issues it will make its best guess and once it's guessed that then it'll verify that with, with you uh, to make sure that uh, whatever it has guessed is correct or not uh, and then it'll ask you a bunch of questions to make sure uh, the information that it's captured is right okay so we for this video we're going to start with the full page scan so let's try it let's click on that now it's just going to open up and start scanning so now you can see it's analyzing our page and it's done its thing. Um, there are a total of 82 issues on this web page, accessibility issues. And as we can see that there are 48 of them, which is just the contrast uh, color color contrast ratio issue. Uh, then there are eight of them, which uh, are the all text of the image. And then there are 26 of them, which says link must have discernible text. So let's look, take a look at this one, uh, just one of them. So once you open this, you see a bunch of options. Uh, the first one is highlight, and this will tell you where that issue is, where this, that element is. So if I click on that, you can see this is the element basically where the issue is, buy tickets. Okay, this button right here. Uh, so what does it say? Ensure the color contrast between foreground and background meets WCAG 2AA minimum. We already discussed what this means, this AA. Uh, in the previous videos, uh, so it is not meeting the minimum uh, color contrast radio. Uh, if you see, this is the location of the element, this is the element. To solve the problem, you need to fix the following. Uh, so the foreground color is 
this and the background color is this font font size this much expected contrast ratio is this so you can change the contrast ratio basically allowing uh, people to uh, visually have a difference uh, when you have a darker background and uh, with a lighter color it's more readable compared to in this case where it's more softer so you know people who have visibility issues it will be difficult for them to uh, read what's written so that's what you need to fix there so you can check out more as to what the issues are what it does is that if you're working with your uh, team this basically can create this issue for you where you don't have to take any screenshots yourself you just click on that and then once you click on this one it copies the issue link and then you can share that with your team so here if i paste that you can see that it says elements must meet color contrast ratio it's telling you where that element is it, there's a full image it's highlighted it and uh, also it tells you what kind of impact it has so it has a serious impact which means it can cause you hefty fine um, in case if this is uh, audited uh, for your company okay so we need to really really fix that then okay so that's that then here also you have more information on fixing it so if you click on that it takes you to dk university where it tells you about how to fix the problem like you can test your colors by placing your colors here you can test if it's actually meeting or passing the requirement or not so whatever colors you have foreground and background uh, you can check if it's passing the requirement by placing those information here okay so that and then next one is images must have alternative text so if i highlight this this is the element and the problem is that it's missing the role of presentation so the different kind of images we will discuss that uh, when we talk about images that there are images that are only for presentation and in this case this is only for presentation so we need to let the screen readers know that this is for presentation by either using role equals presentation in the attribute or we can just use an empty all text okay and here as you can see it tells you the impact it tells you what are the kind of standards it's looking for so you have all that information here next one is link links must have discernible test so let's find out where it is so here is the problem um, this means that the link should have a descriptive text the problem that's happening here is that uh, you have an a tag uh, anchor tag and there is no information inside the anchor tag about what this link is for there's just an image so what we can do is in this case either uh, we can place some kind of a text which are basically only going to be showing for the screen readers <clears throat> or we can just use uh, area label area label attribute uh, that will allow us to fix this problem and we can set the value of that it's basically the evently site logo so more information is over here you can see that you can put aria label and then put the information of what that link is all about okay so that's about it for this this video and then i'm going to see you on the next one thank you